Family and friends are gathering in the small town of Watkins tonight. Yes, there is a visitation underway for the five-year-old girl who was tra tragically killed last weekend. Charges say a family friend who was staying the night kidnapped and killed Elena Erdl. Liz Collin is outside the visitation in Watkins right now, and she joins us. Liz? Amelia, in this town of less than a thousand people, it's fair to say at least that many will be here this evening at the funeral home to pay their respects to Elena Ertel and her family. There has been a long line outside this funeral home for at least the last hour since this got started. To give you an idea of just how tight knit this town is, the Ertel funeral home is owned by a distant cousin of Elena. A bubble machine was placed outside. Our cameras were not allowed inside, but the walls are filled with pictures, toys, and stuffed animals. Elena has been described as an animal lover, a bubbly little girl, and a great friend to all she met. Teachers from the Watkins area were here, and they told me they would miss Elena this school year, and that this tragedy has brought this small town even closer together. It's devastating for everybody, I think, to think that something like this could happen in this community. But I think what it shows is what a strong and loving and supportive community we have, and we feel so blessed to be a part of this community that will come together and support Matt and Kayla and Carter. Lori is referring to Elena's family members there. The visitation will last until 8 o'clock tonight. It continues tomorrow from 9 to 10 before her funeral, which will be held at 1030 at the Catholic Church here just up the block. Amelia. All right, All right. Uh, Liz, you, live Liz. in Watkins, thank you. Uh, of course, investigators found Elena Ertel's uh, body in a swamp not far from a cabin in Motley on Saturday afternoon. Prosecutors charged a co-worker of uh, the father with kidnapping, rape, and murder. Police found 25-year-old Zach Anderson in a swampy area near that cabin. Police say he led them to Elena's body nearby.